Uh, Michael Frank says, to create an XML sitemap, do you suggest using the plugin Google XML sitemaps or create it in Yoast? It depends on what you're doing, Michael. Um, if you've already got Yoast on your site, why add another plugin? Right? If you're already using the Yoast SEO plugin, then just use the Yoast SEO sitemaps, unless you've got an enormously big site for some reason, in which case you'd want to use the better WordPress sitemaps plugin, um, which will allow you to paginate your sitemaps. It'll also allow it to cache your sitemaps. There's a lot of things that that'll do. That's like what I use on my ATM sites is uh, the better WordPress sitemaps plugin. But other than that, if you if you already have Yoast on your site, why add another sitemap plugin? It doesn't make any sense. You'd be bogging down your site. Keep your sites lean as possible, guys. Sometimes we don't drink our own Kool-Aid. <laughs> our own site is like bogged down with way too many damn plugins. I bet you 80% of them aren't even being used, and we got to clean that shit up, which we've been discussing for the last week. So, um, but for like client sites and sites that I'm actually, you know, actively ranking, um, I try to keep my sites as light as possible and use only the bare minimum of plugins to accomplish what it is that I need to do, because it makes the sites run better and it creates less maintenance issues uh, with conflicts and updates and all that kind of stuff. 